So my name is Ross Fitzpatrick and I am the assistant director. The assistant director, um, it changes from director to director, but essentially you pre-plan the show, anything you need, checklists, kind of some schedules, and then you do as much research on the text and the play and the characters, the people playing the characters, um, and just make sure you have as much knowledge to be able to answer questions in the room as well as just assist the director in anything he needs. Be there for collaborative support. <laughs> um, it, was a, it was a change for me. I, um, I w I'm an actor, uh, I trained as an actor, and it was just as theatre began to open up and there wasn't as many productions as there were a couple of years ago before the pandemic. I was like, I don't think being in theatre as an actor is 100% sustainable, so I wanted to diversify and I started writing and I got a Writers in Residency program in Dublin and uh, wrote a play and then I just decided to try diversify again and see if I can become a director. So I contacted Emma Jordan and um, we got on really well in our first meeting and she wanted to mentor me and took me on for a beauty queen and I'm here again. <laughs> I think it's 100% essential, like even with Burnt Out, the play itself is an entity and it could be a million different things under a million different directors. Um, I had a feeling about parts of the play and Jimmy had feelings about parts of the play and they align in some of them and then they uh, differentiate in others but it can change and so like even with this play I saw a bit more comedy and I saw oh but that changes into like this gritty psychological thriller and Jimmy is really looking for a um, very beautiful kind of stylized noir feeling to to the play and when you give that direction and kind of those subtle notes to characters and the actors the moments that come out of it are amazing. Yeah, so a, a, a perfect example is we did Beauty Queen a couple of months ago in The Lyric, which is a play known by nearly everybody in acting, directing, writing, theatre. Mark McDonough being an infamous playwright um, and it being probably his most infamous play. It has a sense of character to itself. This is a, this is a thing that has its clothes on and it knows who it is and you have to find a new entrance to the play. In contrast, a new writing piece, we've been very fortunate to have Gary Mitchell in the room, uh, which has been amazing, he, and he's hilarious. But um, he, so he, he, we can, we're looking at the page and you could be half lying down, you're going, what does that mean? What is this? I have, I, it's, it's completely open to interpretation. It's very limitless for actors and also for a director like Jimmy, he can go in and go, let me put my stamp on this, let me change it, let me alter it and let me find my voice as well as the voice of the community and the world we're living in and let's see what we can do, which I think is really cool. Especially in Ireland, I think we have amazing female directors. We have amazing directors in general. I think we have one of the best art scenes in Europe, in if not the world, like we just create amazing art in kind of all divisions of art. But we are very fortunate to have a lot of really brilliant female directors. Annabelle Coleman in Dublin is fantastic. Emma Jordan is my mentor and she's one of the most brilliant directors I've ever seen. I've been watching her work for almost 10 years and I'm just blown away at what she produces every single time. Um, and Katrina in The Abbey, she's amazing. The Weir was fantastic. Oh, like she's just, She's really great as well. So those would be directors that I would look up to. It's a really interesting play and Gary Mitchell is the writer. There is always a sense of uh, politicism in, in the writing, um, but I don't think that audience are gonna come away thinking about that. This play is a noir psychological thriller that problem outside, the intimidation, the threat could be anything. It is an age-old story of you're watching TV at night and you've left the, the curtain open and you just feel like something's watching you. It's the monster outside the house in those old 
American films and they can't catch it. it and it's the mix between am I being rational, am I being paranoid, uh, am I feeling these things and is it right? I'm questioning myself, I'm almost gaslighting myself to feel okay when I'm not okay or trying for to be brave for other people even though I know it's dangerous. It doesn't matter what it is, who it is, where it is, it's how people act in adversity or under threat. And I think it's really interesting to watch very different people have very different reactions throughout the play. It's dark, full of twists, it's gonna be one for me. <laughs> and um, beautiful. <laughs>